Thank you, thank you. Wow, this is a great room. I, I remember a couple of years ago with Hashcon, we were in San Francisco, and there was about 25 of us sitting in a room together, and now we have almost 500 people here. So this is really, really just heartwarming to see, and it's so cool. Um, I'm going to play uh, a little video, and it kind of gives what we're doing in True Rest. It talks about our new float podcast, talks about us franchising, and then it gives a little breakdown about our pods. And so I slept about 20 minutes two days ago. There's a little guy inside of my head that was so excited. He was just jumping up and down, and I couldn't even sleep. So it's so, so awesome to be here and uh, just love this industry. So enjoy the video. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Float Podcast, an entrepreneurial journey. My name, my name is Nick Janicki, once a wide-eyed hippie with purple dreadlocks, and now the founder of the True Rest Float Spa, the fastest growing floating franchisor in the world, and CEO of Float Pod Technologies, the industry leader in float pods. Follow me along in my entrepreneurial journey with what will become the next billion dollar industry to enter the health and wellness sector. Let's connect with world-class athletes, actors, musicians, doctors, industry experts, and explore the mindsets of powerful entrepreneurs. Let's get this floating party started. Hey guys, welcome. This one is uh, a money, what did we name this one? A briefcase of money or lots of money is in a briefcase? I forget what we named the episode. But anyway, this is a great episode. This is episode one of the Float Podcast. Uh, go to floatpodcast.com for more information. And this is basically me paying my dad back, who was an investor on my original store five or six years ago. And so this was a huge moment for me. It's super awesome, super fun. We got a briefcase full of money. We have some awesome footage of Chase stacking up piles of money and then me walking out with a $100,000 briefcase. Uh, I interviewed Pops, my dad, a little bit about the flotation industry and then basically dump a $100,000 in his lap. So enjoy and we'll see you in the next episode. When I started this, my big thing was like, pay back the people that helped you first was my biggest thing. And so, you know, we talked earlier this afternoon and one of the things we wanted to do is, um, just wanted to show you this, just to open this up real quick. Okay. Just uh, click this button. Okay. And so one of the things I wanted to do is we still owe you a little money. So oh. this is actually $100,000 in cash. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. So That's these are $10,000 each. This. <laughs> and so we wanted to just, I'm you know. I'm not sure we even want to get this on <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thanks for the money. It really comes down to communication and knowing that everything that is outside of us, we cannot control. But everything inside of our hearts, we can control. And so, you know, if you're having a hard day and something's happening with you, I can come and say, you know what, it's okay. We're gonna get through this together and we're gonna help each other and I'll bring you up if you're down. Right. If vice versa, if I'm down and having a hard time, there's many nights where I'd just be in tears. Right. You know, our bank account is nothing right. <laughs> or negative. And we were eating ramen noodles. Right. And I would just be in tears and you would come to me and say, you know, it doesn't matter. We have each other and we're gonna make this work and we're gonna get through it and it's tough, but you know, you gotta lean on one another. So if I need to go subcon you know, super conscious or subconscious or or really just present and just watch because I've had some floats where I'm just watching. I'm wa and then I'm watching myself watch. Okay. And then, the, and then there's no there's no difference between the observer and the experience, and and those have been profound times as well. And and I, I geek out on that ability we have to watch our own watching, right, right, and to, and to have the distinct ability of consciousness reflecting on itself, right. like a mile, it's a timed mile that you go through okay. um, from like a stop through a mile and you know, uh, it was 195 miles per hour and the bike started kind of acting up, started shaking. Uh, I don't know if you know what a head wobble is. Uh, um, I know what it is. Like tank okay. slap. Yeah. <laughs> It's like when the handlebars go left to right. And, and you're going 195. When you're going 195 miles an hour, you don't want that to happen. Not so much. <laughs> it's not something you want. Okay. Um, so, you know, I reacted very quickly. It was like a more stabilizing, very grounded and focused reaction. Yeah, it was wow. it was incredible the way I handled it. I didn't actually even know I was capable of doing that. Right. Now that but, is spectacular. Yeah, I found that as I float, 
it kind of keeps you very grounded. Mm -hmm. I float before every single race you do. because of this. Yeah. Okay. Wow, the podcast has been tons of fun, and we have tons more great episodes coming with all kinds of people. And now on to the True Rest franchising side of things. We're the fastest growing floating franchisor in the world. We have four stores open. All of them are exceeding expectations. Two more will be open within the next 30 days and dozens more on the way. Super excited, have tons of great testimonials from franchisees, enjoy. I am absolutely, without doubt, in the right place, doing the right thing. I questioned it before uh, the university, only because trying to weigh, you know, what I should do, is it right? This is new, this is something that's emerging. And I have the intuition and the, the nudge that's telling me, do it. But there's always that little thing in your mind that makes you ponder and question things. And after this week, it's there's no doubt in my mind. This needs to be out there. This is a missing element that people need in the, in, in the world of healing, natural healing. I think having a, a huge, amazing team of, of great people that already know what is going on in every aspect is uh, invaluable. And for me, it's not just have, about having a team, it's about the specific team that's involved with True Rest because they're just the best people on the planet and I know that we have our backs covered and they'll do anything to help us to be successful. To be honest, originally I was not interested in um, being involved in franchising. I had called to purchase pods and they offered franchising to me and I said, oh, well, I'll just let, give me, let somebody call me and I'll hear their pitch because I've been a private business owner for many, many years. And after hearing what they were doing and uh, seeing that we were getting in at the ground floor level and meeting everyone involved, I was absolutely sold on franchising with True Rest. You know, when I, when I first talked with Lori about opening up a, 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 a float pod uh, center, I said, you know, we can do this. We, this will be a piece of cake. It's no big deal. We've been in business for years and we can build it out. And we can do this. And then uh, I'd actually called Nick and said, hey, Nick, I think I'd like your business plan. And he said, uh, well, we don't, we don't do the business plan anymore. We do a franchise. And I said, yes. I was so excited to hear that because I didn't want to have to recreate all of the software. I didn't want to have to recreate the pricing. I didn't want to have to recreate what the look of the, of the spa would be. I didn't want to have to practice and say, well, this didn't work on this one, but the next one we build will be this. So the value of franchising and having the systems in place, how can you go wrong? You... And we all have a passion, and it's not this machine. We're a fluid system, you know, and, uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's not like a, any other franchise that you would hear of. It's just a, a beautiful thing to be a part of. Why would you want to invest in something with the unknown? Yeah. I mean, now we're invested so, in knowing Nick and Holly's mistakes that they've, and then they're teaching us, you know, paving the way. And yeah, it's like, uh, like, like, why would you not want to be part of success? So it's like uh, they've paved the road, uh -huh. and now we just need to get in the car and go. All right, guys, now on to the float pod technology side of things. We're basically making custom filter packages for people that need to get through their individual cities and municipalities. We're super excited about that. Uh, we've gotten through the state of Florida, which was a big one for us. We're going into Washington State, which is also another big one for us. And we're just super excited about everything that's going on here. We do have a new model coming out soon that we're not gonna release any single piece of information. My lips are totally sealed until next year when we're actually gonna be releasing it. 
So we have lots of exciting things going on here at FloatPod. We are on version four of our pod. Uh, we've made drastic improvements every version. Come talk to a sales rep about FloatPod technologies. Uh, we have a booth right outside. We also have reps for True Rest if you're interested in True Rest franchising. The True Rest numbers are, are mind boggling. They're way beyond our projections. So reach out to us, talk to us here at the conference. We're here for you. We love this industry and we're gonna, we're gonna push it forward. So let's do this together and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So I think uh, Ashkan's going to uh, introduce lunch. But uh, yeah, come find us. We're going to be hanging out at our booth in the corner there. But just so excited. I'm actually going to jump up and down. And we have so many people here. And just, just come talk to us. It's so awesome. Like, yes, let's do this thing. Thank you. <laughs>